folks, I'm about to introduce you to a gentleman that's doing very important groundbreaking work. He is Dr. Bill Karish, Executive Vice President for Health and Policy at Eco Health Alliance based on 34th Street, New York City. Exactly. What is the Eco Health Alliance? Well, we focus, we're a nonprofit organization, and we focus on the health of ecosystems and the health of people in that relationship. So we have most notably emerging diseases. We think about SARS, HIV, AIDS, Ebola, Where's monkey this stuff pox. come from, Bill? It's all coming really from wildlife. What do you mean? And so those, those are natural diseases in animals. So HIV AIDS really was a disease. It's an immunodeficiency virus in primates. And it got into humans 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago by eating primates. So people hunt them. We call it bush meat. It's the consumption of meat, wild meat. In Central Africa, it's about a billion pounds a year of wild meat is consumed to feed people. They're poor. They need food. And diseases are transferred from animals into people. And then we have pandemics. So why do you say uh, one of the philosophies is look but don't touch? Well, there are a lot of things. I mean, we certainly are interested in protecting ecosystems and we value them and those are the source of our fresh drinking water. So in the New York area, the region, we have watersheds that produce water. By the way, back water. up though, I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah. The term ecosystem has been used a lot and I don't want to assume that everyone uh, yeah. watching knows what it means. Go it's ahead. It's basically the complex relationship between plants and animals in a given environment. So that's a functioning system. And it's basically Does New Jersey ecology. have an ecosystem? New Jersey has multiple ecosystems. How we doing? So we have the shorelines, <laughs> you have the mountains, you have beautiful places yes, actually. Yes, we do. Um, yes. Okay, but, but, but the other thing that, that really got to me as I was prepping for the show is there's a term here that gets used a lot, and, and I, don't, I don't really understand what it means. I want you to help us understand it. Biodiversity means? Biodiversity is basically short for biological diversity. So it's all the plants, all the bugs, all the animals, including humans. And it's that diversity of life. So we're concerned about protecting. We get a lot from our diversity of life. We find new drugs, new pharmaceuticals, plants, produce our food, animals serve many purposes. And we want to think about how those things work together and try and, and protect them. It's like a library, all the books in the library. We don't want to destroy the library before we've read all the books. Mm. Same with biodiversity. Your organization talks about the quote unquote bi uh, wildlife trade. What is that? The wildlife trade is a, a local trade and an international trade in wildlife. So more than a billion animals are traded around the world. So what huge volume sold as as pets or for food. So it ranges from ivory and rhino horn. Like guns horn, and drugs? Same volume. Actually, it's worth the same amount of money. Illegal drugs, illegal arms, and the wildlife trade are about the same. We're talking about billions of animals. What's being sold? Being brought in every day. If you go to the airports, people are bringing in their bags. They're smuggling in turtles. They're smuggling in birds. They're smuggling in bush meat. We find boxes with monkey meat. Get with out diseases of here. coming in every day. Comes in. So well, why, why don't we... But why don't we hear more about this governmentally? Why are there? Uh, have I missed the hearings in Congress about this? You might have missed the hearings. It's a it's an issue. It is a big issue. It's a big issue. Media paying enough attention to it? I don't think so. And that's great that you're on the bringing me on the show. No, to but talk I'm curious about, it. about that because everyone, a lot of people watching, are saying, "Okay, why didn't I hear about this?" Yeah, I mean, we see stuff will go out. Um, the the government's great to work with. They just don't have enough people to do the inspections. It's no different than the other ports. You know, what age, what agencies about. are we talking about here on the uh, U.S. Level? Fish and Wildlife, Center for Disease Control, USDA. They all have little pieces, part for livestock, part for human health, part but, for wildlife. But here's the thing, Bill. Say in, in one of the countries you're talking about, part of Africa or wherever, you're talking about, say, talking about a village. People relatively poor or stone cold poor. What the heck can you say to them that would stop them Encourage them not to participate in the trade that you're talking about if, if you're putting food on the table. Well, for one thing is we can work with them so they can learn how to handle it more safely. I mean, people hunt in this country, too. It's okay, you know, to if you process your food well. So some animals are safer than others. Some are more sustainable. You can harvest more. some animals. Some are endangered. So we want to focus them on not on endangered species, but on things that are common and things that are safe. Teach them to wash their hands, cook the food. So there's some things we can do to prevent disease transmission. Name the countries that are the highest priority for you right now. Well, actually, the U.S. is the biggest consumer of illegal wildlife in the world. We are. We are. We're number we one. We are. Again. And so we have, yeah, we're very <laughs> proud the of reasons. that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there's other countries that are um, questionable, but we actually, in all good, in honesty, 
The U.S. government keeps good records, and that's why we know where the they do the confiscation, so we have the data to oh, show. Oh, hold on, are we talking we, pets, food, what? Illegal wildlife, we're the biggest importer of record. And pets, huge numbers, we're in the top of the world. But are we importing them to eat them, keep At them, what? Illegal pet, all of those things. Trade shows, if you go to like a swap meet out. You know, a what? A swap meet for bats, and there'll be people that collect them and mount them and show them on the wall. So we get a big box of dried bats in the mail. Um, so it's you know, really? diversity. Monkey pox came in You don't in mean with baseball bats. Rodents. You mean bats. Flying bats mounted on little paper. Get out of here. What are we looking at right there, Georgette, our producer? What, uh, what this is one of our scientists in Malaysia actually working on fruit bats. It's a giant fruit bat. And they carry a disease called Nipah virus that's killed pigs. Nipah? Nipah. Nipah. Kills people, kills pigs. It's wiped out the pig industry in Malaysia because it got into them and made them sick and it started killing people. And the most serious illnesses we are facing today because of this include... Are we talking uh, about SARS here? Historically, HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS. It's a global pandemic and it came from consumption the of The pandemic wildlife. continues? HIV AIDS is killing more people. Still a global problem. SARS kind of came and went, but it cost the global economy $50 billion in trade because airplanes stopped flying, ships stopped sailing, got to Toronto, spread around the world. That's a virus that came from bats and wildlife in a market, people eating them. Bill, final question before I let you out here. Nope. Biggest message you want to leave with people? So that they can I do think something. what we can do in the U.S. is, one, support conservation efforts. Two, if you or your friends, 28 million people have exotic pets in the U.S. Be careful what the kind of pets. go. We have a site called PetWatch.net, and it tells you what's a safe pet, what's a good pet, what's not, what's a dangerous pet. And the consumerism is, drives a lot of this. We should stop buying it. And your organization is a nonprofit, so uh, make sure you go on there, find that information. Yeah, Eco it's called Health Eco Alliance. Health Alliance, and Dr. Bill Karish is the executive vice president for health and policy. Bill, I want to thank you for joining us. We learned a lot. Thanks for inviting me. Good stuff. Appreciate anytime, it. folks. One on one will continue right after this. Stay with us. Thank you, Bill. If you would like more information on this program, or if you'd like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org and visit us online at oneonone.org.